Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Sudoku, the hard one, on Tuesday, July 30th. And I can start immediately by noting there are three fives that point into region three, so I can place it. That gives me a five and two places in column seven to follow up on. There are two sevens in the top three rows, allowing me to place it in row three. In the middle three rows, I have no repeat digits. In the bottom three rows, I have a one as a repeat digit, but that's all I get. Now, if I look by columns, five, seven, eight, nine, three, one, and two fours, I can place a four in column three. I can place a five in column six, and I can actually place a three in region two, there are one, two, three threes that look into it, leaving only one space left. The follow on places a three in one of two places in row one. Five has already been dealt with. One has not, but what I should have seen was one and five were in the same columns in the same regions. So these but one, one there, this one looks in, so that I believe one is there. I can't mean to put it in here, but this can't be one, because I've already ruled one out from this row. And on the right, the only thing I haven't done yet is place a seven. Okay, so what that does do, actually, those twos force a two there, which I should have seen. Silly me, I didn't. One, two, three, five, six. These are four, seven, eight, nine. Four is now forced there. Um. Ooh, three can't be here or there. So there's a crossing on threes in region four. That puts a three in one of those two in row six. I have anything but five, yes. Column four has five digits. I need four, seven, eight, nine to fill in. This one can only be eight. It sees all the others. Remaining sure looks like 479 because I don't think I can disambiguate any one of these. Four, seven, eight, nine, and this can't be one or three either, so that's down to three digits. Uh, this one actually can only be a six, based on one, two, three, five, six being filled in, so that one isn't. Uh, this is now a one, it can't be two, three, or five. That fills in the rest. Let's see, one, two, three, five, six, eight. Okay, those are four, seven, nine also. See, I've got two different four, seven, nines interacting with each other. Uh, four, seven, eight, nine can only go in those digits. Right, so one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. You notice absolutely none of these can be five or six. Five, six is strictly limited to those two in the column. That gives me five digits. This will be four, seven, eight, or nine. This is four, or eight, so it's down to seven or nine. One, two, five, seven, 
three, four, six, eight, nine. Well, that can't be three, four, or nine. Definitely are not shorting ourselves or zero in this puzzle. This can't be three through seven inclusive. This can't be three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, neither can those. Those are also from one, two, eight, nine. This can't be three, five, or seven, so they are one, nine, or evens. Three-fourths of a one, two, six, eight there. Hmm. Not that that helps me much. Four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three. Six, nine. Knowingly, the digit one crosses a region there, so I can't do anything with it. Those can't be three, four, eight, nine. This is no help whatsoever. Uh, but one, two, three, five. Okay, so this can't be eight. This can't be eight, right? And these two can't be 8 because of the 8 in the region, so where does 8 go in row 8? There's literally one space for it. That means those two must be 8. And therefore, 4, 8 form a pair that's hidden. That will be quite powerful because 6 is placed. And these form a 1, 2, so that's not 1 or 2, and now not 6. 1, 2, we'll place a 9. Is it 9? So this is an 8. These aren't 7. This is an 8 by pair or the 9. Those aren't 6. Not that that helps me much. But the 6 in column 2 will place the 6. Okay, this has to be a 1. Therefore, that's a 3. Neither of those are 6 or 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. These are 5, 7, 9. In that order. And they, too, will now form a triple. Let's see, 259. This is 6 or 7, isn't it? And only that. Yeah, I've got 6 restricted, but that's it. Okay, this can't be 479, or rather is just 479. That's not a yellow digit, but this is. <clears throat> I have nothing useful there. Oh, it just occurred to me, I have nothing in row 7. I didn't have anything from the start of the puzzle, I still don't. Uh, row 4, 1, 2, 3, 5. I need 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, 8's now one of those two. None of these can be 7. This is not helpful. Those three cells in region six can't be three, seven, or eight.
These can't be three, four, five, or seven. Let's see, that's not eight. Okay, those two can't be one, four, five, or eight. And again, I have no help. These ones, based on box, can be anything but five or eight. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, 10 minutes in, I filled in the whole grid. A lot of 479s interacting. Fine. 49 here makes this a 7, which I've known for quite some time. 8, 7, 9, that makes this a 4, that 9. This has to be an 8. Five, seven, five, nine, four, seven. I think this is relatively straightforward. I may actually have enough to solve this now. Four. That's six. So this isn't. These aren't nine. This has to be eight. This is a four. Maybe one place for a five, which leaves one place for a three. Okay, neither of those are four or six. Six or nine. One, two, nine left comes over. Starts out six, seven, two in column three, the eight in column seven sorts out three, nine. We'll sort out this as a one, two in the column nine, which tells me where three goes, and then two, and then this ends up literally as one, six, doesn't it? But the three in row seven sorts out two, three, and this should be enough to solve the puzzle, I would think. 9, 6, 1, that finally sorts out 2, 1, and row 5, which sorts out 2, and everything else is done, and this is going to end up just shy of 15 minutes, I think. Yep, just shy of 13, actually. You know, the 4, 9 pair disambiguated this 7. So I didn't need to fill in the whole grid, and if I'd seen it a little bit sooner, I would have had another sub-10 minute solve. 